Hey everybody, our field is here. Well, time for a pacifist run. Hey, remember, don't kill anyone. I can't believe this is a real thing I have to remind you. <laughs> okay, good luck. So, this is pretty much going to be my pacifist run for this game. Nothing too much, just regular pacifist. Going to go through it, trying to go, uh, show off everything that I didn't show off, and, uh, not kill people. Like Toriel, like I accidentally did. So, yeah. Also, this is actually kind of record a little post come <laughs> Well, pretty much that. I was coughing all when I was recording this. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You're just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Wait. Why are you looking at me like that? Like you've seen a ghost. Do you know something that I do not? No, that is impossible. Well, here's the Toriel fight, so how are you supposed to spare her? Just keep on spamming f that. So, uh, I think I beat this game, so I should be better at this fight. I hope. And at least this song is pretty good. Ow. Now, another thing. You don't actually want to heal. Trust me on this. You don't want to heal, and you want to get kind of low. That's right, I don't want to do it. I don't want to fight. Alright. What are you doing? Okay, we're down to pretty low health. Attack her, run away! Yep, her attacks won't hit you if you're at low health. What are you proving this way? I'm proving that I want to do this. <coughs> Fight me or leave. <coughs> Hopefully my coughing won't get too bad. Okay, you prepare magic attack. Stop it! So, yeah. So, this should be pretty fun. Stop looking at me like. Way. I'm just looking at you like I normally do. Um. Yeah. Go away! No! I'll stay here and I'll be determined to, uh, finish this fight. So, yeah. But yeah, when I was re initially recording this, I was actually pretty sick. I was like, I was coughing a lot. I mean, I'm still coughing this week, and it's been like two weeks since I recorded. Yeah. Uh, I gotta love those two-week illnesses. I know you want to go home, but... Please. Go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You just want... You will be unhappy to just drive down here. The ruins are a very small place once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear for you, my child. I'll put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Aww. Did I seriously just say that? I swear it's a cough meds. Goodbye, my child. Bye, Toriel. But yeah. So, I guess I'll see you guys in the next destination. Hooray! We're now on the route for Pacifist. And I screwed up my first playthrough. Well. <coughs> Do I know that person? So I'm back. Do you not know? Wh who you know? <laughs> of course I know who I know. I want to know if you know. I know if I know as much as I know you I know. You know. Oh, -ho! speak of the devil. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. So yeah, so Piper's is kind of understanding who I am. But yeah, so uh, rip voice. Uh, Piper's voice is not that easy to do. So I'm just gonna go go ahead and go through. Besides, Piper's is still awesome. Sons, what did you do? I think the human has a holy orb. Okay. So, uh, there's this golf ball thing. Purple, even when you feel trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of the ball. 
You're worried too, G. Seriously. Next up! I did not realize about Lesser Dog. Hello, Lesser Dog. So, uh, let's pet. So, yeah. Apparently, Lesser Dog has a pretty funny, um, thing. So, apparently, you can keep on extending its neck. Ooh, shoot. Okay, so let's continue petting. You pet the dog. Raise your hand and meet your hand. So yeah, this will be fun. It was a good dog. Except it noises. Ah. How do I keep on messing up that attack? Except it knows no bounds. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Trickle pet, dog excitement increases. Okay, so it looks like it will no longer attack us. You jumped up to pet the dog. What a revving. Okay, you don't even pet it. It gets more excited. Plane takeoff. There's no way to stop this madness. Kettle whistle. <coughs> Let's go against this realm of the clouds. Space! Just had to. It's too late, cannot hear you. Okay, a little speed up because it just keeps on saying the same thing, and... It's possible that you have a problem. A little bit. So yeah, continuing on, it keeps on doing like this. I seriously need to get ending program so I can speed this up, oh well. Lesser Dog is... Is preaching anything? Lesser Dog is learning to read. <laughs> okay, continue on. It's whining because it cannot see you. Okay. Hey there. Hey there. Lesser dog has gone where no dog has gone before. Yes. Okay. See you guys in the next area. What the hell happened here? It seems like the base of a snow dog. <coughs> it's a broken head off of the snow dog. Okay then. So, uh, looks like some dog went through and had and tried making gigantic heads. Um, we may or may not have had something to do with this. And right here, knowing that dog will never try to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. So yeah, that's pretty fun. Okay, what do you have to say? Sir? The dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. It kept on trying to build a snow dog with that inspiration its own emotions, but as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer, and added more snow and snow until... It's rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. Okay, coming down here, here's Sans. What's up? Oh, that's it. Okay, to the next area. Rip voice. <coughs> oh, nope. Welcome to Snowden Inn. So I never showed off this, but, uh... <coughs> well, that doesn't sound creepy at all. So, uh... Talk about a bad night's sleep. I think that's supposed to be like some sort of easter egg. Hey, it looked like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're staying overnight. Woohoo! Well, I think it's time to go to the next destination, which may or may not involve Piper's house. Here you are. So you came to have a date with me? You must be serious about this. Let's take you somewhere special. Alright, so yeah. Apparently there was a thing I missed on the on the Piper's hangout. Apparently I missed the main point of the hangout. Besides the trash can. My house. So yeah, so first thing, welcome to my city house, enjoy and take a time. First thing I missed is that you can touch the, you can investigate the couch and you can get yourself 20 G, which is nice. It was my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for the new program, Metaton. What? It's usually better than this. It's just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Okay. Oh, darn it, I didn't want to say that. So here's the famous sock one. I still like this one. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. 
you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. So yeah, so uh, this will be kind of hard on my voice, but well, impressed. I increased the size of my sink. So yeah, I still find this hilarious. What? Get that meddling canine! <coughs> yeah, this is still hilarious. So, uh, I think with my favorite things out of the way, I think we should go ahead and head upstairs, because apparently I missed the main point. So yeah, we need to go into the room. Yes, I'll go inside. So, uh, let's start this, uh, date thing. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Yep. Okay, dating start. Dating start. Okay, here we are, on a date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters for my name. Uh, Piper is... Eh. I sang an official dating rule book from the library. You ready to have a great time? Let's see. <coughs> Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating hub. Okay. Alright then. Wowie, I'm so informed. Okay, that's kind of unnecessary. I think we're in step two. Step two, I still want to date. Ahem. <clears throat> Human, I, the great Papyrus, we're going to date with you. Eh, sure, what the hell. Really? Wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. And what is this part three? Step three, put on ice clothes to show you care. <coughs> Wait a sec. Wear clothing. That ribbon in your hair. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Early today, you are also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You want to date me from the very beginning? Sure. No. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. <coughs> no, you're dating power. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the good Papyrus, I've never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case someone happens to ask me on a date. Behold. Cool, dude. Nah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! It's in my coffee man. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. <coughs> um, what about this hat? My hat. My hat. My hat. <laughs> well, then you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. Just for you. Okay, open it. Hey, look, spaghetti! You know what this is? Of course, it's spaghetti! Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right? But oh, so wrong! This ain't any old paint pasta. This is the artisan work. Silk and spaghetti. Finally aged in an oak cask. And then kicked by me, Master Chef Pipers. Human! It is time to end us. Therefore, there's no way this can go any further. Take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. It tastes indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. <coughs> no! <coughs> Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Okay. Everything you do, everything you say. It's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy. Too. It's time to express my feelings. Tell me that I told you. I, Pepperus. I, um, boy, this is Anya, or is it just me? Oh, cute. You meant I. I'm sorry. I don't like the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought because you flirted with me, I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, things would bloom forward. Be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Pepperus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, 
I have only drawn you deeper. Deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion, with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No. Wait. That's wrong. I can't feel anything. Human, I'll help you through these tr trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. Act like this will never happen. After all, you're very great. Taking or lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. But hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no. That's not true. We'll hope you settle for second best. <laughs> well, that's something. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Phonomically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, my voice is kind of dead right now. So, uh, let's go to the cell. Let's call, uh... I didn't mean to pick up tutorial. I press. Well, it only took you four seconds to call me. You must really be desperate for my help. Well, do not fear. This is Piper's helpful hotline. Describe your location and I'll describe you some hot tips. So, where are you? You're still in my room. Have you heard of something called a door? Wait, don't worry. I'll draw a diagram for you. Okay, so how's the diagram going? Hold up, I'm still drawing. Alright. I didn't mean to call that, but yeah. So, that was kind of fun. Stay tuned for a new program. Okay. You know what? I visited the trash can. So, I feel accomplished in my life. I'll meet you guys in Waterfall, because that's the next area, and I actually need to take a quick vocal break. Okay, see you guys in a bit. And we are back, and there's the piano here. Yes, I would like to play it. Now then, there is actually a secret in this room. So, uh... Hey, um... Next up, I need to go... There we go. Nice. So, uh, what's in here? It's a, uh... <clears throat> it's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Eh, sure, why not? You're carrying too much dogs. Wait, I'm carrying too many dogs? Annoying dog. You deploy the dog. The dog absorbed the artifact. Hey, dog, get back here! Stupid mutt. The artifact is gone. And I got dog residue. Meh. <laughs> this little bird wants to carry you across. Is that the words offer? Yes. To adventure! Across this little gap! This bird can do it! Yes, you can! Yes, you can! Yeah, this is actually a little bit away from the, uh, um, houses in, in, in Waterfall. So, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Bird. Thank you for your ride. Alright, now then. What am I doing right now, you might ask? I'm buying some cloudy glasses. Why am I doing this? I will be going for the ultimate armor in the game right now. So what I, so what I need to do is uh, take these cloudy glasses and head over to Tem Village. So yeah, it's a little bit of a walk. It took me for like an hour to get this, but yeah, it's long, but hopefully it'll be worth it. <coughs> still coughing, still, but not as bad as earlier. So yeah. So let's go avoid these and head over to the Tem Village. Yeah, I have no music to, to put into like the speed up session, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut ahead to when important things happen. Oh wait, welcome to Tem Shop, so we can go ahead and sell these. Whoa! You got cloud glasses, I must have cloud glasses, I'll pay for college! Eh, want cloud glasses? No. What? Okay, that face though. Okay, we're back and let's pay for college. Yes, let's pay for college. Whoa! That's a lot of months! Can Tim's really accept? Okay, so don't go to college, make you proud! Um, you forgot your face. Okay, she's back. Tim back from college. Tim learned many things. Tim learned to sell new items. Yay! Yeah! Okay, so, uh, let's go for the Tim armor. See you guys in a bit. Okay, 
super took forever, but let's buy 10 armor. Thanks for purchase. Makes battles too easy. Eh. I wanted to show off the Tem armor. Temmy armor. You donned the Temmy armor. Oh yeah. Well, let's head back to uh, Undyne's. Over here in Undyne's house. Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Hopefully you do. At least I hope. Will he hang out? Yes. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure you give her this. She loves these. Hey, Nine. Hey, Peppers. Ready for your extra private one on one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hey, I don't think we've. Why don't you two come in? Here, Undyne. My friend bought a gift for you. On their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. Heh <laughs> So are you ready to start? Oozy doozy, I just remembered. I have to get to the bathroom. You do have fun. Well, you can't, uh... Okay! So why are you here? Throw your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Uh, no. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Sure. Really? How delightful. I accept. That's all frolic in the field of friendship. Not. Why would I ever want to be friends with you? If you weren't even my house guest, I'd bet. Be sure right now. You're the only one every hopes and dreams. I'll never be friends with you. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne would be friends with you. I guess. I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a sec. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you. <laughs> what a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. Woohoohoo! This is perfect revenge! Why don't you have a seat? Okay, so... Let's sit down and progress. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Okay. Hey, nice sword. Nice piano. All set. What'd you like? Hey! Don't get up! You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why don't I just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Okay. Sugar, soda, chocolate, and tea. You tea. Let's have some chocolate. Uh, you know what? Let's have some hot chocolate. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. The container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Ask where kids on getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. <coughs> okay then. Soda. Oh, soda. Actually, even though you pointed at it, you don't look happy. Eh, that's fine. I think soda's gross too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh? Wait, wait, have it. <laughs> Okay, so uh, what else? Fridge, sword, acquired taste. Eh, sure, why not? Believe me, I would gladly fill you with that with a fill of sword. You weren't my beloved house guest. <laughs> um, anything in the fridge? Or uh, I guess I can select a nine. Um, sure, sugar. And sugar's for tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do you th What do you look like? The ice cream woman? Do him and ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are there ice cream songs of prelude to destruction? Is that it? Yeah, I've heard an ice cream destruction song. What? Really? That rules. Okay, so let's go for the tea box. Tea, huh? Coming right up.
Yum tea. Though to be honest, I'm actually not a tea person. It'll take a moment for water to boil. Waiting, waiting. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange that you chose that tea. Golden flower tea? That's Escort's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both totally weenies. Sort of. Only sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Ascor. It was this on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and then from then on he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. i never seen anyone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyways, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets the trained orcs to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not like he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's so innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He would get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was talking for too long. You're, sp you're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a sec. Papyrus, he's cooking a lesson. He's supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to do it for him. Okay, that's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can imagine. Whoa, afraid? We're gonna have the best. We're gonna be best friends. <laughs> Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them into dust with your fists. How will you pound? Strong. You punch the vegetables with the full force. You knock over tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are united against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah. Uh, we'll just scrape these into a bowl later. But for now... We have the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. I want some spaghetti. Why does my store brand? They're the cheapest! Yeah. Uh, you just put them in the pot. Oh, you put them in the pot. I'll put them in carefully. You place the noodles in one at a time. They clink against the bottom. Nice? Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Well, let's do this. I'm typing as fast as I can! It's harder! Harder! I'm bushing mashing as fast as I can! Harder! I'm doing as fast as I can. Here, let me do it. 
Uh, rip pan? <laughs> that's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn off the heat. Let the stove cup symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into a burning fire. Ready? Don't hurt anything back. Okay, I'm holding right. Um, it's starting to boil. Hotter. It's on fire. Hotter. Oh, dang it. Hotter. Wait, that's still. Uh, oops. Eh. Man, no wonder Piper sucks at cooking. Your house is on fire. So what's next? Scrapbooking friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. The people just won't get, don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. Sorry about that little cut. Even if I failed to refresh you, that's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. Right, one final rematch. Oh, on both sides. This is the only way I can regain my lost bride. Now come on, hit me with all you got. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do a fake attack. <laughs> what? That's the best you can manage? You been attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Eh, you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first I hated your stupid... sarcastic stick. You, you hit me right now, it... It reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems like you and Asquare are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some human some human will fall down here. And they'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Foo hoo hoo hoo. Oh, and if you don't hurt us if you do hurt us, Gore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Uh sure. I guess. I don't know. Foo-hoo-hoo-hoo. No, let's get the hell out of this fl flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go and hang with Pepperus. If you need me, drop by in Soden, okay? Oh, if you ever need help, just give Pepperus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to you, too. Well, see you later, punk. Um, sounds like only fire lives here now. Well, that honestly sucks. What? 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 It's a living! Okay, back here in Snowden. Hey, punk. What's up? Achoo! Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin! So why don't we stand in front of Grubbies instead? Because I hate grease. But you don't have a stomach. No, but I have standards. Ah, oh, Pipers, you're so awesome. I'm so glad you and Undyne's are friend now. You didn't get, get... You go together like pasta and burning. <laughs> so true. Okay, back here in the Muffet fight. Apparently, something that I learned is that you can use a spider donut. You get the spider donut, your HP was maxed out. Huh? Where did you get that? Did you just steal it? Oh, my pet. It's time to show them what we do to thieves. Huh? A telegram from spiders in the ruins? What, they're saying that they saw you and... You helped donate to their cause? Oh my, this has all been a big misunderstanding. I thought you were someone that hated spiders. The person who asked for the soul must have been a different human in a striped shirt. Sorry for all the trouble. Ooh, let me get up to you. You can come back here at any time and for no charge at all. Yeah, so apparently if you use a spider donut, you can end the fight immediately. So yay. I just literally started that fight. Woohoo, it's fun to see you again, dearie. Okay. Next up, what I want to do is go ahead and head and buy this mystery key. I had to do more things. Um, try to see what else is here. 
Um, mystery key, sure. Sold out. Okay. So let's go find out where this mystery key goes. It's locked. Apparently the mystery key must be here. Use mystery key. The red south source unlocked. The key disappeared. Dear diary, Sharon's sister fell down recently. It's sad. Without her sister to speak for her, she's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Lucky and I, should all perform together sometime. Dear diary, I'd like to buy a new diary for every entry I make. I love to collect diaries. Dear Sari, our cousin left the farm to, be, to become a training dummy. Now it was just Blucky and I. Blucky asked me if I was going to try to become a corporal too. He sounds so resigned. Come on, Blucky. You know I hate to leave you behind. And besides, I never find any kind of body I'm looking for, anyway. My darling diary, I met someone. Interesting today. Last week I posted for an advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first meeting. Only the other person that came. Honestly, she's a dork. And she's obsessed with these awful cartoons. Anime. She's kind of a funny too. I want to see her again. Diary, my dear. My diary collection is growing fabulously. I have like five now. Dear diary, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. A form like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I could be a star the way I am right now. Sorry, Blueki. My dreams can't wait for anyone. This is Metaton, the original Metaton. Okay, and finally in the epic walk, we haven't killed anyone, so let's go ahead and meet uh, Sans in Judgment Day. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will be deter the future of the world. That's then, now. You will be judged. You will be judged for er, er, every action. You will be judged for your every experience you earn. What's experience? It's an anagram. It stands for execution points. So yes. We have love too as an acronym. It stands for level of violence. Yes. So we've already been through this speech before. So? But you, you never get any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you still have to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Escort will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Escort and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in a towel by now. But you didn't go for that far without giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. As long as you hold on, for as long as you do what's in your heart. I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. So, yeah, so I guess we should probably just go ahead and throw in a towel. I'm gonna go, go ahead out and go back to the MTT Resort. I don't know why. I feel like it. Okay, I'll see you guys in... somewhere. Okay, on the bridge, Dan. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Pipress. This is your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I met Soden in front of Pipress's. See ya, punk. <laughs> 